Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to another timeless general love reading. Keep in mind, please, it is general. It's not going to resonate with everyone. It's also timeless. So whenever you're drawn to watch it, either by, you know, the title or the thumbnail picture, that's when you're meant to be here to get the message, okay? It could be six months from when I upload it. It could be the day, first day you check it, as soon as I upload it. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, and even if it does resonate with you, please check your moon and rising sign as that gives you a bigger, more well-rounded view of the messages and the timeline that this is coming through. When you do see it, it is good for about four to six weeks out. I want to thank everyone for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up as that allows the video to um, circulate for everybody else. Okay, we're ready. First card out, Two of Pentacles. Then we have the Eight of Cups. Five of Cups. The Lover. Ooh, the Lovers. And you have the Queen of Swords. Now, this is the center of the reading, so it is now a part of your overall energy combined with the bottom of the deck. Nine of Wands. The Devil. Six of Swords. Ooh, Prince of Cups. Nice. Okay, let me just shift this over for you there. Now you can see all the cards, sort of. Bottom of the deck and part of your overall energy now, Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, Sagittarius, just give me a minute to take a look at your cards, get a feel for the energy and any messages coming through. Okay, Sagittarius, it, it seems that all, I believe, all of the zodiac signs are now making a shift. I'm pretty sure. Um, this shift is from your living through your ego mind to living through your intuitional spiritual side, okay? Everybody else, basically, I believe, I think it was last month or the month before, the reading was that we were being asked to make a shift from 3D to 5D, which is what I just said. 3D is ego self. 5D is your spiritual self or your intuitional side, okay? You were not, but you are now. Because your overall energy is Queen of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. And the Queen of Swords in this deck is the Goddess of Truth. And the Eight of Pentacles is all about... A higher consciousness. It's about um, gaining wisdom and knowledge. So this is you making that shift and gaining the higher consciousness, raising your vibration, your energetic vibration or frequency, however you want to put it. But it's all about um, your true authentic self and your true authentic self stems from your soul or your inner being inner guidance system right um you are going to be trying to find a balance within yourself while shifting into 5d if you some of you maybe have already started making this journey some of you are here because this this card here represents the two of pentacles represents where you're at ish because time is an illusion 
So for some of you, that's where you're at. For some of you, you're not there yet. Others, you're, you're past that, okay? This is where you're headed. And the Prince of Cups in this deck is the God of Love. So for me, this represents um, self-love, love for everything and everyone. As we move higher and gain this higher consciousness or raise our vibration, whatever you want to call it, it all means the same thing. As we do this, we start to realize that it's all about love. Loving the planet, the people on the planet, loving yourself, loving all there is. Love is what it's all about, okay? The Eight of Cups is all about progressing emotionally on this new spiritual voyage that you're on. This deck is a little bit different than the other decks, and that's why I love using it, because I now am helping everyone who's raising their consciousness or raising their vibration, their frequency. I'm helping those move forward on this journey. The Five of Cups is all about emotional loss and suffering, and that is what we have to go through when we're on this journey to, to raise ourselves up higher. Sometimes it's having to release loved ones, people, situations, events, and it hurts. It can be a painful journey, but it's all about the growth. Now, the next card you have here is the Lover's card, and in this deck, it represents the Divine Union. Now, that can be between you and your Twin Flame soulmate. It can represent, it, and I think it represents all of the above, what I'm getting at here. It can represent a, a loving divine connect or loving connection with divine, which would be source energy, right? Spirit, God, whatever you want to call it, your inner being, your higher self. Okay, and it can just be also you finding that balance between your your feminine and masculine self. For me, it represents the twin flame union because the lover's card represents Gemini in the zodiac and Gemini is the twins, okay? And my guides know that the lover's card represents twin flame uh, partnership for me. So, you know, that could be what it's representing for you. It could be any of what I just mentioned. We already know what the Queen of Swords is all about. The Nine of Wands is definitely all about persevering through the difficulties. So as you uh, transform, transition, and shift yourself into 5D, you may find it difficult. I think the majority of us have been finding it difficult. Trying to find that balance. There's a little bit of wobble as we make that shift. Now, in order for you to come together with your Twin Flame, you have to be in 5D. You just have to. Because to get into 5D, to make that shift into 5D, you need to be vibrating at a fairly high level. To come together with your twin, you have to be vibrating at a fairly high level. And so 5D is where you need to be in order to come into union with your twin flame. Okay? Now everybody else got, got the same message, and I'm going to give it to you you are being gifted with the ability to shift into 5D and come into union with your twin flame. If you want to stay there, you have to give something. And what you have to give is the old 3D way of being, thinking, feeling, living, doing. You have to let go of 3D ways, period. And that's not any, it's so clear right here with the devil card because the devil card in this deck, it's all about the, um, the ties or the connection between intuition and primordial impulses, meaning 
the old ways of being that have been in place and, and that we've had to conform to right from the beginning of time. Okay, it's letting go of that, making a shift into a brand new way of living, thinking, feeling, being, letting it all go. Up to this point, it's got to go. You're moving into Six of uh, Swords. It's transitioning into a brand new phase, a brand new way of living. And it's all about love, loving yourself, loving everyone on the planet, loving your life, loving who you are, how you are, what you are, everything. It's, I, I can't stress it enough, it's all about love. We are here to raise the vibration and the, the consciousness of everyone on this planet, as well as help to raise the planet's vibration, the planet's energy, because it came to a very, uh, I'm going to say, sad place. I mean, you can't even order a pizza anymore and get a live person on the other end of the phone. What is that? We don't communicate with each other anymore. We don't really get along a whole lot anymore. So we're all, we're all raising our, our consciousness here to try and help this planet be a happier, more loving place to be. So, this is your new journey, Sagittarius. You're shifting into 5D. The easiest way to make that shift is spiritual growth, spiritual knowledge and wisdom, because it brings clarity. That's what helps you move forward. You may experience feelings of fear and anxiety while making this shift. That's totally natural. You may experience dizziness, lightheadedness, headaches, uh, sore throats. Um, like I said, fear and anxiety, the negative emotions. Totally natural. If you look at it from a standpoint of moving yourself from one job to another and the job you're moving from or the position you're leaving and moving, actually the, the position you're moving into in the new job is nothing like any of the positions you've had up to this point. It's totally new to you. There is always fear and anxiety when you move into that new job because it's nothing you've ever known before and you're not sure are you going to be able to do the job are you going to be able to learn what you need to learn to do it properly and you've got fear but you take that job anyways because maybe it's got better pay maybe it's closer to home maybe the hours are better maybe 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 <laughs> you know it's a bunch of different things but you take the job because you know it's going to be more along the lines of what you want. It's just there's going to be a big learning curve. That's what causes the fear. This is no different. There's uncertainty around making this shift. But you're moving towards your twin flame soulmate. You're letting go of all the negatives, all the uh, conformed, structured ways of being, you're, you're going to be able to live the way you choose to live. Do what you choose to do, Sagittarius. It's not going to be about conforming to the way that you think you need to be and, and the way you need to do things or what others expect of you. This is going to be about you, what you want, what you love, a direction you want to move in. Now I want to get a card from Synchronicity Oracle for you. Thank you, angels. Now something that um, I need to make you aware of is you're not alone on this journey, okay? You are going to be guided. Place yourself in the position of receiving mode, okay? You do want to be able to hear the guidance. You do want to... Um, be in the receiving mode 
of everything that needs to come to you so you can make this journey or this transition in a much easier way, okay? Um, meditation, going for long walks in nature, hot baths in Epsom salts and sea salts, that will help you to get grounded because it's going to be very important for you to be grounded at this point in time as well. Um, meditation is huge. If you don't meditate currently, I know a lot of people, myself included, look at meditation, or I used to, I don't look at it this way any longer, but it's like, mm, I really don't want to do that. I don't like meditating. I don't want to meditate. It's not all about sitting cross-legged on the floor with your, you know, your hands in position and oming. Just quiet yourself. Stop all thought. Just relax. If it means you need to just sit quietly and listen to your favorite music down low volume and, and focus on the music. Try not to have any thoughts because what it is all about is stopping thoughts so you no longer have resistant thought. Because when you resist this shift, it shuts you off from your inner guidance system. And you don't want to do that. You do want to be guided through this, okay? It's going to be the easiest way for you to move through it. Wow. This is a, an amazing card for you to get right now. On path and about to realize manifestation. So you are on path. 811. Now when I designed these cards, I had been seeing a lot of uh, numerical synchronicities. And that was one of them. I kept seeing 811. I still see it. You might not be seeing it up to this point, and if you're not, that's fine, but you may start seeing it now. Know that this is what it means for you. You are on path, and you're about to realize the manifestation. Okay? That's amazing. That's awesome, actually. Some of you are already on path. Some of you, like I said, are already moving through this and making your way. So like I said, this is where you're at-ish. This is where you're headed. This is your journey to this place, okay? So as I went through the cards, that is you moving forward toward this place of higher love, higher consciousness. Uh, this is the Just Ask Oracle deck. I just want to see what else your guides have to say to you today. Thank you, angels. Live in the moment. Appreciate and be grateful for everything that you have. Focus on what's working in your life, not what isn't working. Because you want to attract to you at this point all the good things that you've been asking for, all the things that you want in your life, okay? And your thoughts are the electrical impulse that you put out, but your emotion, your feelings... That's the magnet. So if you can stay in the present, leave the past in the past, because every time you think about anything from the past or, th or feel anything from the past, you're bringing it back into your present. You are creating your present, and it is your past, which means your future is going to be the past as well. And that's it's not just about events or situations from the past or people. It's, it's a way of being, thinking, and doing from the past, okay? Let all that go. You do want to make this shift into 5D, Sagittarius. It's an amazing way to live. You will no longer have to chase after money. You're not going to have to worry. You're going to be taken care of here. You're going to be able to let go of that old way of fearing that you're not going to have enough money or that you're not good enough to move forward in the direction you want to. You're going to be gifted with so much here. All you want and need and require is going to be given to you. Take care of others. You do need to take care of yourself as well, but it's about love. We're here to take care of each other. We're here to help each other out. And when we can give and be the philanthropists that we're supposed to be while we're here on this planet. 
if we're doing for others, giving to others, taking care of others, the universe steps in and takes care of us, but the universe takes care of us 1,000 fold to what we're doing on the planet. The universe is going to make it more than worth your while to help others along your way on the path. It's all about love, like I said. Love, 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 love. There's, there's nothing else there. Nothing else. Now, if you would like further help to take you forward the quickest, easiest, most pain-free way on your journey so you can make that shift, step into Twin Flame Soulmate Union and have all that you want, click the link below. We're going to ask the guides for help in what you can do, be, think, and or feel to focus your uh, energy and make this shift fairly easy. If you're moving into the extended, I'll see you over there. Those of you that aren't, I love you guys. I'll see you next time.